tonight on Monday Night Raw, the WWE Raw preview. And of course, after Raw is all said and done, wait 20, 30 minutes perhaps, I will bring you the Raw review. But tonight, viewers and subscribers, remember to refresh, subscribe, and smash that bell. Turn on all notifications for this very channel. Monday Night Raw is focusing on the key points. The Miz, former WWE Champion, will make his return to the show tonight on the USA Network. The Miz returns to reclaim his red carpet and potentially go on to become the Intercontinental Champion once again for an unprecedented time. A match that was supposed to happen last week got canceled, got derailed. But this week, the Cruiserweight Championship will be up for grabs as Cedric Alexandra goes one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one with a more, a more. Will there be a lot more from this match than we thought we were going to get? Or is this going to be stellar? And what about the thrilling, reigning, defending, undisputed, intercontinental champion Roman Reigns? WWE focusing on who will be next to challenge the big dog, Roman Reigns, who has been on a collision course. Roman Reigns fresh off defeating Samoa Joe last week on Raw. Also, WWE is focusing in on how will Alexa Bliss bounce back from her defeat to Asuka, who we now know will be teaming up with The Miz. And viewers and subscribers, if this is any indication of this mixed match going on Facebook Live, you got Asuka teaming up with The Miz, and you got Braun Strowman teaming up with Alexa Bliss. Throw those two in a mixed tag team match. That would make sense. That would be the way to go. And viewers and subscribers, a lot of my viewers and my, a lot of my subscribers have been asking, Sean, why don't you book Raw? Tell us what you think what you would do on Raw. How, how would you capitalize on Raw? How would you plan out Monday Night Raw? How would you strategize a Monday Night Raw? We want that to return. Well, viewers and subscribers, it's all about reforming. It's all about rebuilding. It's all about rejuvenating. And this channel right now is um, in, in a rebuilding phase. It's definitely, um, you know, the building blocks and the foundation of Sean's View Entertainment. But we all know Monday Night Raw is inconsistent. We know Sean's View Entertainment can book a Monday Night Raw. We know that I can even, you know, manipulate a Monday Night Raw. And, you know, the one thing about Monday, Monday Night Raw to me, basically, is I want to keep the viewer tuned in from one minute to the next. That doesn't mean the whole show has to be unpredictable. But there has to be key elements. There has to be points. There has to be advantages. There has to be pluses. You know, some of the show, yeah, maybe it'll drag on. Yeah, but, I mean, you always want to give the be the best show possible, especially between now and WrestleMania. I mean, you want to go all out. And I know there are some down times. I know there's some times where the WWE is kind of mediocre. Me, I mean, basically, I would try to go all out from now until WrestleMania and then pick back up at SummerSlam again. But, you know, I don't know why the WWE has 20 to 30 creative writers when they can't, you know, get their juices going and flowing cre cre creatively. But that's just me. I mean, you know, it, it, I know it's not an easy job. I know us, you know, sitting behind the laptops and the desktops and the cell phones, that's easy for us to say. But I've planned Monday Night Raws. I, I have, I have, um, you know, creatively put together a Monday Night Raw from top to bottom. And you need those key elements. You need to build it from the ground up. And once again, not that I would say I would be lackluster, but there may be some weeks where I may be like, all right, well, this segment we won't put too much into, but we'll put more time into this segment. We'll put more, we'll put more fine tuning into this superstar. You know, we won't overproduce this guy. You know, we'll we'll put more uh, intrigue in, into the cruiserweight division. But viewers and subscribers, you know, uh, you know, I'm I'm not gonna have high hopes for Monday Night Raw. You know, the bar is not set at an all time high. Um, so maybe my expectations going in tonight isn't so huge, and maybe the show will be better, you know, than I'm thinking, but once again, I don't want to give the show too much credit, we haven't even seen the show yet, so once again, this is the Raw preview, I will give a Raw review when the show is done, right now I want to thank all the viewers, my Raw review got one of the highest views I've ever gotten, not, not compared to other people, because I know other people get, you know, blow my views out of the water, and, and that's fine, because once again, this channel is in a rebuilding phase, but ladies and gentlemen, you know, the WWE's got to do something, they got to capitalize on The Miz, uh, what is the WWE going to do with Roman Reigns? You know, I have my own philosophies. I have my own planning. I, I have my own thinking on what I would do. But once again, once this channel gets more built up and I get more views and comments and likes and shares on Facebook and Twitter with my videos being shared, um, we will go into that process. We will put more time into the fundamentals of Monday Night Raw as if I were on the booking team. So viewers and subscribers, a night of championships and a night of returns. It's Monday Night Raw. And Sean View is here to give you everything you should know. More to come from the Brash One. What can we expect from Raw tonight?